So my name is Lou Stutter, and I'm actually on the Scottish production team. Okay, cool. Yeah. And you are? Uh, I'm Troy. I'm just an avid Skylanders fan, and I'm brought here to demo for you. <laughs> yeah. So what's new with Skylanders here, here at E3 2014? Yeah, so if you didn't see it uh, when we revealed it, the idea behind Skylanders Trap Team is that you're actually going to be able to find these most wanted villains that are roaming free throughout the Skylands. Yep. Defeat them, and then use a new toy type called a trap to capture them. And then once you've captured them, what's really cool is that you're effectively you know, giving life to a toy. And that now is that villain that you've trapped. And so once With, you put it in the portal, you can play as that villain. Wasn't that announced at Toy Fair? No. We actually announced it uh, probably about two months ago. Two months ago. Yeah, we ended up uh, sitting out Toy Fair this year. We wanted to wait a little bit longer so that way I Swap Force is still talking about it. Oh, so okay. All right. So we did, we did reveal that uh, at or a reveal event uh, toward the end of April. Okay, sounds good. Come on in. Hello. Howdy. Hello. And so what we're going to go with right now is showing you a little bit of what we showed at reveal, which is you know, what it's like to actually capture and defeat one of those enemies. Okay. And so now Troy's going to head in, and we're going to encounter the Shred Knot. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Big old lumberjack tank driven by two trolls. And now, so Troy's actually playing as a new guest star of Skylander, or a guest star of Skylander that we're calling a Trap Master. And they're actually these really cool characters, really big, unique weapons made of our new elements called Trapteen. And so he actually got a big damage boost Trap when fighting defeated. this villain. It just gets better and better. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you're in for a treat. To trap this villain. And now what, whoa, what, what are we doing over here, Troy? Yeah, so Troy, you can show him the trap closer to the... So here's so the trap. So that's actually a trap. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place the trap in the trap slot of the portal. All right. And then watch, watch, oh, watch this. this and we're actually going to pan over real quick. It's a hero! Oh, nice. It's so cramped in here, I can't even tell which troll I am. You're troll one, I think. Ah, that's cool. We must now fight for the good guys, Troll 2. Maybe we'll finally be on the winning side for a change. And so now, you actually heard the Shred Knot transfer from the game all the way over to the portal. You're really enhancing the magic that you've actually captured something in the digital world into the physical world. Yeah. And so now that he's in there, we can actually, you know, what we say is that you've captured evil, and we now get to unleash good. And so now Troy can... Use him, sending him from the game, or from our trap, back into the game, where he is now a good guy. And we can now play as the Shred Knot. Wow. Which is really cool. And so we're going to have over 40 different villains that you're actually going to play with throughout the experience. And so now what we're going to do, we're actually going to pause and we're going to switch over to another console that we have all ready to go with a different level, something that we are showing for the first time here at E3. Now I'm, making, I'm making sure to get him in the... Perfect. Table. Yeah. It's the Secret Sewers of Supreme Stink. Oh, okay. Which is really fun. And so what we've got here is our new core Skylander that comes with uh, the starter pack of the game. This is Food Fight. He's an artichoke that launches tomatoes, because of course. And we're actually going to take you through a couple of the villains that we've trapped already. So with over 40 villains, you can imagine the amount of variety that the team has been able to make. So from a giant two-troll tank to an air character that we're gonna bring in here, and Buzzerbeak. Wait, you'll hear him actually, he'll squawk on his way in. <laughs> and so now, you can see a tiny little bird wearing a propeller hat. Why not? Which will actually allow him to attack the enemies and to fly a little bit before slamming down. And so what's really neat is that the team is kind of limitless when it comes to the creation of these characters. Since they're not Skylanders, they don't have to be you know, the normal you know, heroic style of character. We can kind of go a little bit wacky, a little bit crazy, and play with the size. You know, so you saw the giant two-troll tank, you saw the tiny little, you know, bird wearing a propeller hat. And so now what we're going to do is hop over to, um, we're going to go to the life element here. You see this little life hammer. Yep. And this one's one of my favorites. This is Broccoli Guy. Broccoli Guy. Broccoli Guy. Broccoli Guy. Whoa! 
<laughs> and so we've got Broccoli Guy. And so Broccoli Guy is actually a life mage. And so what he can do is cast a healing glyph on the ground. And so now you can switch back and forth between your Skylander and your villain. And so by, you know, having Broccoli Guy, you can place the healing glyph, switch back to your Skylander, and have you get healed from it. And so you can imagine playing in co-op, you know, two players, one equipping Broccoli Guy, healing the other player who's, you know, maybe in the midst of battle, you know, with low health. And so now from Broccoli Guy, we're going to head over to the opposite end of the spectrum. We're going to go a magic character. And so if Broccoli Guy is all about his veggies, and parents hopefully love the veggies, we're going to go the opposite direction for the kids Yata. to Peñata. And he is a giant piñata who barfs candy. Sweet. <laughs> Which, it doesn't get much better than that. And so he'll actually barf the candy to Day's enemies, and then he can use his giant sucker to attack them. Sweet. And so one of the things you might actually be hearing is that, outside of his squeaky shoes, is that all of these Sky or all of these villains have their own theme songs. And so when you switch to your villain to make it more of a special moment and a really fun experience, all over 40 of these villains have their own special theme music. Wow. So you heard the, the fun Latin flair for Peñata, and the, the kind of 70s funk music for, for Broccoli Guy. And Troy, you are getting the Latin Oh yeah, music. he's getting the Latin flair going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so from these guys, we're actually going to take him off, and we're going to switch over to a new Skylander. We're going to bring in a trap master called Jawbreaker. Oh, you want to see that? Yeah, wow. Jawbreaker. He's a big old robot. Like the other Trap Masters, he has those Traptanium weapons. And so you can see here he's got big old Traptanium fists. Which he can use to punch the heck out of some chompies. And so he's all about kind of getting energized and getting sparked up. And so his normal attacks, pretty slow but powerful, you get him energized, his attack power goes up, his speed goes up, and it actually modifies what moves he can do. And so normally he does this two but if you spark him up, he'll actually sweep the floor, which is a great attack. So now we're going to progress onward, watching out for goo chunks along the way. We're going to grab a bomb. And since Troy wants to get there in a hurry, we're going to speed up. Progress forward. First jump. So here's a great spot to energize. We'll use that floor sweeping attack. Clearing the way so Troy can enter into the secret tunnel here. And so all of the Trap Masters, because they have these Traptanium weapons, can interact with shards of Traptanium that have been embedded throughout the Skylands. And so here, Troy is able to attack this Traptanium, destroying it, and revealing a jump pad. And our epic base in the road. I'll say, where are those speakers? It's <laughs> there, right there, right? Yeah. yeah I just got tickled by that thing. Yeah, you can actually see it's starting to take down the room. <laughs> so it's, it's it doing is. its job, which it is, is great. It is, it's awesome. <laughs> and so Troy was able to unveil a jump pad, which led him to the secret ledge. Now normally we'd have here a treasure. We've taken it out for the demo because we don't want to spoil it. But you can imagine a legendary treasure, a soul gem, something really cool there for kids to find. Now moving on forward, going to watch out for more of those goo chumpies. We actually have this wall of goo blocking our way. And it's pointing to this platform. Now one of the things that we're doing is, you know, continuing to make sure that the levels have a ton of variety, a ton of fun, but have some really unique kind of puzzles and interactions. And so here, if Troy's not following the arrows, nothing happens. But if he follows it, similar to a, you know, faucet spigot, you're turning it, you're actually going to deactivate the goo coming out of the pipes. Yes, you did. <laughs> so now we can progress onward and hopefully get into the sewers. Whee! <laughs> and so here we have a lock. Now in Scalander Giants, we had these lock puzzles with this little green gremlin where you had to rotate the room to get into the exit. What we've done now is completely redesigned them, and we've kind of enhanced them. We've given them a jetpack, which makes everything better. But because he doesn't have arms, he's not very good at steering it. So he'll go until he hits something. And so it's really up to you to find the way to bounce him around the room to get him to the exit. But what's really right. neat is that if you're playing two-player, 
you're, you're actually going to have two of these little gremlins. And since they have collision, you can actually bounce off one another and find your own exit that we didn't really plan for and don't really have a collision for, because you're bouncing off one another, creating your own collision. So Troy's been having some trouble with the fire, luckily finding his way to the exit. And the fire will actually return you to where you were. But luckily he found some water, which will allow him to find the exit. Reminds me of Choo Choo Rocket. <laughs> yeah. On oh, your feet. And so now we're allowed to enter the secret sewers of Supreme Steak. Why are you down Apparently they're really excited about the secret <laughs> sewers of Supreme Steak. I like it. We haven't seen anyone since we locked ourselves. Yeah, we're playing on the PS4 right now. It's quite beautiful. And so this is Wolfgang. And so he's all about the rock. And he's got his own harp guitar, which he can play, sending out projectile notes. He can do his 80s hair metal knee slide, taking out enemies along the way. But he, and you can even hear the music, you know, ramp up that rock music. My favorite are the effects when he actually attacks. You can do a jumping slam down as well, but you'll actually see the effects are little musical notes as well. In fact, there's something vaguely heroic about you. And you haven't tried to steal our green goo like the other mutants. <laughs> but you're probably still crawling with germs! Ah! Well, I think I'm done with the germs. You can see the musical effects there. And you see now that the timer's out, we're switching back to Jawbreaker. But now what we're going to do, we're going to pause. And so he's a little dinosaur wearing a gyroscope jetpack backpack. He can launch some missiles, which is great. He can do a, a charge with uh, his blades there, and he can also let out a big roar to take out enemies. If that doesn't get the five-year-old inside of you excited, I don't know what will. He's, he's totally awesome. Uh, but what's really cool is, is we have this academy, a ton of different things to do, giant courtyard up here. We're going to walk forward and show you kind of the centerpiece. Well, as we get there, you'll see how our little dice will change to the element you're playing as. And then over here, what we have is the villain vault. And so the villain vault is where you're going to go after every level, and that's where you'll manage who you have in your traps. And so if you defeat any you know, trappable villains, they all go to the villain vault. And so if you have a water trap, and you've trapped, say, five different water villains, you can go there and choose who you want to equip in your trap in between each level. And so now we're going to head to the right, we're gonna say hi to Persephone. She's back from Skylander's Giants. She's actually the one who will be giving you your upgrades to your characters. She also has a pretty sweet tree house which you can explore for some hidden collectibles. But now we're gonna go inside of the Academy. And as we get there, some of the things to notice, I mean, just really, really fun stuff. All the birds coming to life. I like seeing the magical grout that actually holds it together. We need some of that. But as you get in here, you'll see there's a ton of pathways, a ton of characters to talk to, a lot of side activities. We also have Oric there manning his shop. We got Callie. But we're going to head up here and we're going to show you a brand new card game that we've made for Trap Team called Skystones Smash. And it's, it's a really fun game. And what's cool about it is that as you go through the game, you're going to be collecting these Skystones. And so by the time you want to play, you'll actually be able to cultivate your own deck. And as we get in here, one of my favorite little beats, you hear the player piano. It actually changes the score of the entire world to the player piano. And there's a lot of things like that throughout the game. Just the fun, it's a very, very whimsical team that works on the game. So yeah. they add a lot of audio touches. Previously, we had like a jukebox in one of the games where if you stood next to it, the characters would beatbox. So the audio team's hiding a lot of Easter eggs like this throughout the game. But for now, we're gonna talk to this gentleman here. We're going to start some Skystones. So you might know our, our friends in Irvine. We have a, a fairly similar game, but it's a lot more kid-friendly, very simplified. And what we have is a game where we have kind of our side here, the villain side here, and your objective is to play your Skystones until you get his health down to zero. And so he's played this character that has two health and two attack, and so what we'd want to do is kind of match or exceed it. So Troy's playing him, who's got two and three. So that'll actually show you the map there. Let's kids know what's being attacked, what's being played. And so now we have a two attack, one health, completely unguarded, so we'll take him out. But what's really neat is some of these cards actually have an additional magical boost. And so right here we've got the Chompy Mage, who has plus two health. And so if we play him here, 
He's going to heal us twice, giving us two extra health points through his heart boost. And then because he's got a two and two, he's going to defeat Broccoli Guy and still survive. And then we get an opening there and take two out from his health. Chill Bill. And so that's what we've got for Skylander's Trap Team. So, you guys have any questions? It's awesome. Great. Thank you, Dry. Yeah. You're welcome. Sir. You got a, you got a good gig. Thanks, guys. Thanks again.